One Must Fall 2097 is a robot fighting game on DOS developed by Divergent Entertainment and published by Epic Games with a release date of October 10, 1994 with a freeware release on February 10, 1999. It does beg the question of why this didn't get a console release. From what I know, and if I got this right, Epic Games only catered to the PC market back in the early days. Anyways, One Must Fall 2097 is your typical fighting game with a mechanic rarely seen. You get to pick a pilot and robot. You don't see that in today's fighting games. Anyways, the story is that War is holding a tournament for its best employees to see who gets to establish an Earth base on one of Jupiter's moons, Ganymede. Well, that's one way of weeding out the weak links of a corporation. Imagine if the CEO of Apple decided to host a free-for-all and the last employee standing takes control. With that out of my system, let's get back to the game. Each pilot has their own strengths and weaknesses, as does the robots. So basically, you have to look for a combination that works best. And some do work better than others. Going back to the pilots, each has their own reason to win, but I'll leave that part for you to find out. After selecting your pilot and robot and some trash talking, the battle begins. It's just a basic best 2 out of 3 rounds fight, but there's one thing that sets the game apart. Hazards. Yep, each arena has hazards they have to contend with. But what's really unusual is why only 4 of the 5 arenas have them. I guess the stadium is for the fighting purist? Your attacks consist of punching and kicking, just like any fighting game. But there's something that seems a little off. If you press forward an attack, you do a weaker attack, but if you press back an attack, you do a stronger attack. Okay, I see four buttons right here. Why not put the red and blue buttons for weak attacks, and the green and yellow buttons for strong attacks? Other than that, the controls work fine, regardless if you use keyboard or controller. After the final round, you get an opportunity to destroy your opponent. What sets this apart from Mortal Kombat is that there are two parts. The first part is scrap, where you only damage your opponent further, but if you really wanted to destroy your opponent, you can do destruction. And each has their own controlled combination. Unlike Xenophage, these finishers don't feel quite as weak, but still far from perfect, like Mortal Kombat. I don't know why, but I've always enjoyed fatalities more. Before it slips my mind, let me discuss the other story, Tournament Mode. You play as an unknown pilot and you have to prove yourself worthy by fighting your way up the ranks. As you win, you get money to spend on upgrading your HAR. Yeah, I forgot to mention they're called HARs. Unlike the story, these are one round matches only. Regardless of which mode, you get a news feed detailing the fight and how well you did. If there's one thing this game excels at, it's the music. I'm sure if you've seen my other reviews, you'd recognize one soundtrack in particular. Kenny Chu did wonders to the soundtrack. I would totally dance to the Power Plant song. <laughs> the graphics are quite good and the profile pics of each pilot look like they came from an anime. If someone feels brave enough to make it, I'd watch an anime called One Must Fall 2097. The animation is a little stiff, but it's smooth enough to pass. For 1994, using 3D models on the robots is quite an achievement. Overall, One Must Fall 2097 is an excellent game for its time if you can get past its flaws. This game gets 3 Ganymede moons out of 5.